Yes, yo. Yes, yes, yo. You know who it is. It's them kids and wives and 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 275. Yes, sir. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with Tim Router. Ed Placencia and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's the Christmas episode, y'all. Woohoo! Yay! Man, Christmas. it's Christmas time. And, I, Christmas. Man, and look what we're trying to do. Some, yeah. some video up in here. Every, yeah. Every year, we, we've got a, all the duct tape and glue. Uh, man, and all, all of it. All together as best we can. Exactly. Can I have all the duct tape and all the glue, please? <laughs> Yeah, if you can see one of these light bulbs the... doesn't go out, one of these Christmas light bulbs go out, we're screwed. Yeah, we outside can't. the edges little... of this screen, so much duct tape. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so a little much. lights on twinkling clock. <laughs> I know, Ed, and thanks for noticing. Oh my gosh, um, man, we're doing it. We're yes, trying we to are. do it, and we're doing it. Merry <laughs> Christmas, fellas. Merry Christmas Merry to you, Christmas. sir. Merry Christmas to you guys. Yes, very a very very merry merry. Amen to everyone. It's mm -hmm. all a good night. Uh, Tim Router. Yes, sir. I have to say thank you. You dropped off a present for me the other day. I appreciate of that. Thank of you. Course. Thank you. Tell us Merry what's Christmas. been uh, going down with you, my man. Well, first off, let me just have a little coffee in my new little Assassin's Creed mug here. Oh, oh look at that. who Ooh. got you that? Ooh. Courtesy mm. of Eduardo for Christmas. Thank oh, you, sir. I, I like that. it. You're welcome. That was really great. Uh, I am fresh back from seeing Star Wars. Uh, we had we had a last minute. Hey, let's go see Star Wars because um, mm -hmm. I knew we had the podcast tonight. And so we went to the 645 and man, I really enjoyed it up until Piper was just acting the fool <laughs> the entire <laughs> movie. So it was a little distracting. Oh, shoot. <laughs> But uh, Lauren was awesome. She was the one like trying to calm her down. I think she was just super tired because she fell asleep on the way to the theater. I was holding her while getting my tickets, getting popcorn, all that stuff. She was out. Benchard. And you would think she would be like refreshed and ready to go. And then once everything uh, we were watching previews and then she's like, Daddy, I got to go potty. So I'm like, oh, go in your pants. It's fine. Come on. Yeah, just just go. It's fine. So <laughs> I, we got I, such a big I literally pick her up and haul down the steps go out to the bathroom, come back, and I completely miss the opening credit scroll mm -hmm. or the story scroll. Ugh. And so right off the bat, I'm in a foul mood. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and it just kind of went downhill from there. And, you know, it's just one of those. She just reminds you that you're a five year old. And it's like, oh, right. but she, she was mm. she was terrible tonight, which was a little disappointing because she loves Star Wars and she loves The Force Awakens. And so, uh, you know, she wanted to see Ray and BB-8 and and everybody and you know once she saw yeah. them that was pretty much it she was like okay we're good so, <laughs> i saw them okay now what yeah are you now? so yay <laughs> um <next>? trolls but, <laughs> exactly <laughs> yes and that's on the docket as well um <laughs> and of course the uh the topic of the week because it's being Christmas and all is of course santa claus we're mm -hmm. very excited for santa claus mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be glorious. And um, and obviously, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. The I only time believe. of year where breaking and entering is encouraged. <laughs> is that That's right. Encouraged. Come on and in, Santa. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Just, just come on in. The water's nice. So. Um, so, yeah, it's been a it's been a crazy week. Just um, work's kind of dying down, but just getting everything else ready for the holidays. This past weekend, I felt like I was uh, in the movie Four Christmases. We had. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. On Saturday night, we had uh, Christmas with Lauren's brother and sister-in-law because they're um, traveling to Florida, I think, starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And they're going to stay with, with Kara's parents. And then uh, Sunday, we had the Router family Christmas during the day. And then we had Pauline's birthday at night. So we had to go from basically one place to the other. So there was a lot of running around. But uh, it was all good. We had a, a good weekend. And, and now we're just getting uh, in the throes of it now. Because it's it's almost there, so we're busy wrapping presents and doing some last minute Christmas shopping. But it, yeah, it's been it's been really good. Um, on the gaming front, I have played nothing. <laughs> yeah, that'll oh. happen. That'll happen. Yeah. Nothing on console. Just actually playing a little Hearthstone still. I'm, I'm still mm. on the expansion pack, and I, I actually went back. There's a couple of their expansion packs that I didn't finish, so I'm trying yeah. to finish that stuff too. But I, I, it's just always fun to pick that game up. 
Um, yeah, I've been hearing nothing but good things about that. Uh, the new expansion or or whatever the yeah the dungeons the no, thing. Yeah. yeah the dungeon thing whatever it is that they got going on. Kale keeps asking me every time him and I are get together. He's like, "How have you played it yet?" And I was like, "I'm planning to play it when I'm in Oklahoma. I just you know, haven't it, had a it's chance tough. yet." I I still actually haven't defeated because you do eight total dungeon bosses. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> but uh, but like each one gets successively harder, and so you have to kind of adjust your. They give you a deck to use, and then you add on to it as you go. So uh, yeah, it's just I, I still haven't actually beat it. I got the furthest with Hunter, which was <clears throat> which has always been my class. Like I love the Hunter class. Um, but man, it's so much fun. But yeah, I'm just Assassin's Creed is just up there waiting for me, and I just haven't played it, haven't played it at all. So it, now it's really going to be a huge adjustment getting back into it. Like, okay, what was I doing again? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I, I, again, I may still restart that bad bear and, and start over, but we'll see. I, hopefully, I'll start getting into it this uh, this toward the end of this week because everything's really starting to lighten up mm. now, which is good. There you go. That's it for me, folks. That's all I got. Nice. Eduardo? Oh, yes, sir. What's been going on with you? I have been picking up the slack for our dear friend, Tim. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> Gaming I've like been, a bug. Yeah. Gaming like a uh, yeah. the Tapmans, who I, of course, I used to come out to our house for Christmas every year when we lived in Pennsylvania. They, uh, some of their kids are still in school yet, but uh, their one daughter's home from college, and so they're actually right now is still downstairs what? playing games. So, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they came so over, jealous. I think, at like one this afternoon. And uh, it's just been a great week of just gaming and gaming and gaming and oh. gaming. It's just so much fun. It's been such a nice... That's, I love this time of year just because we can just get together. And, and uh, I, I, you know, as I mentioned last week, as soon as I get a, a Christmas gift in the mail, it is opened. That's right. Yep. And uh, today I received from uh, uh, Sarah's parents a second, finally, PS4 controller. Ooh, oh, hey. nice. You've never had another one? So, no, I only had the one. Oh, wow. Interesting. And so wow. tonight we've been reveling in the joys of Nidhogg. <laughs> and it's, uh, uh, yes. is, are you playing Nidhogg 2? Or one or no, two? Yeah. Just the first one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun. Um, this weekend... Uh, my brother took my dad, Sarah, and I out to celebrate all of our birthdays together. My brother's was just this past week. Sarah and I and dad all have birthdays in November. So we, he, uh, he took us all to go see Star Wars. And uh, like Tim, due to a movie theater malfunction, also missed the opening credit scroll. People oh, need to get man. their lives together. <laughs> Jeez, what is going on? I know. I know. But It's a conspiracy. Yes, yes. Well, fortunately, it wasn't like a lot of or some Star Wars movies where there's a lot that takes place in between. So I didn't really need a catch up. Um, I, and and so it didn't it didn't harm us too much, but it did kind of put everyone in a foul mood to begin with. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, we had a good time. We after the movie, we went to, uh, back to Ray's house and played some secret Hitler, uh, introduced them oh. to that game Ooh. and uh, just been a really good week of just hanging out with 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 friends and family and, and just, uh, just having a good time. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Pretty much if we have the game, uh, we played it, including set up for the first time in 10 months, the Wii U. Oh, you dusted <laughs> oh, it off. Wow. They were like, yeah, hey, let's, we, we used to always play Mario Kart. Let's play that. And I was like, yeah. Oh, it's not even hooked up to the TV. <laughs> yet. So, Did you have an update and everything? Did you have the power cable? I know, uh, no update, but uh, it was. It took a while to set up just because they also wanted to play rock band, so I had to go upstairs, oh, dig out wow. the guitars they, they and the drums. Working. Yeah, you were <laughs> He's definitely dusting everything off. Yes, yeah. So it was. You know, I mentioned it on Twitter that we finally dusted off the Wii U, and and uh, people were, you know, saying all that. Well, there you go. You should give Zelda a shot. Give the Switch a shot. And I'm like, bear in mind. We wanted to play all the old Wii games. So. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> exactly. But uh, just having a good time. So it's just been fun and, and looking forward to more more hanging out and what have you this week. But uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a really, really good week. Perfect. I love that. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's been nice. Chris McCracken. Um, so Stacy and I as well. So last Friday was our last day at work uh, before the holidays. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> 
<laughs> and looking over at Chris. Like, well, yeah, I know. I was looking up only Chris. polite, Gabe. I'm, I'm looking up at Chris. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Chris. <laughs> I was like, what? See, see, the thing is, I don't have you guys laid out the same way as, as we saw. And I was like, huh. I need to make sure I'm looking the right way. Uh, hey, router. <laughs> yeah, just look at the template, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, Let's go, sorry. Brady Bunch. It's all you, man. I don't know why I just I noticed what that. That's so funny. Uh, okay, go ahead. Um, I'm looking okay. now. Me too. Okay. Um, so anyways, uh, that was the last day of work for us. Uh, we've been out of town. Um, or That's when we took our vacation. was the week before Christmas because Stacy was going to be starting a new job the week after Christmas. So mm -hmm. that Friday we left a little bit early and we too went and caught Star Wars. Yeah. So nice. I guess we've all finally uh, seen I think it now. It's official. We've go. all seen uh, it. And then we we went straight pretty much from there. We went home, got the dog, got our luggage and everything, and we headed up to Oklahoma. We spent uh the weekend in Oklahoma and did Christmas up there because um my brother in law was only gonna have his little girls this weekend, the weekend of Christmas, they go to be with their mom for that time. Mm -hmm. Um so we were up there and then we realized that and we didn't find out really until that Friday, I think that the kids are still in school next week until like Wednesday or this week currently until Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So we're like, mm -hmm. uh, well, we were going to just stay <laughs> in Oklahoma till maybe Wednesday or so, maybe Thursday and then head home. We're like, well, instead, what we'll do is we'll just come home Sunday and spend Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at home and then we'll head back up there. We're actually going to head up there uh, Wednesday evening because um, on Thursday we're going to get uh, our little nieces while they're out of school. And go do some stuff with them and kind of hang out with them. Um, and then Friday, they'll go over to their moms. Um, and then Saturday, or I think Sunday, we're going to head back home after that. Um, then I'll spend some time with uh, my side of the family on Christmas Day. Uh, and then we, we will be back at work on Tuesday of next week. Um, so on the way home, her dad let us borrow her truck or his pickup truck. Uh, so I finally was able to take my mom's bed back over to her house. Hey, and I was like, all right. Yeah, I, other, my other TV and my other my server computer and bring it back. So now everything, as far as we can tell, is is here now. Like we still have a few things we have to unpack. To, and there's a few just the other day, Stacey was like, you know what? I haven't found my cutting boards. It's like, well, we got to dig out some of those boxes. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as far as we know, every box is here. Everything that we own right. and packed away should be here somewhere. So we just got to finish unpacking a little bit of things. But we were really grateful that we could finally get that all taken care of because it was looking like it was going to have to be sometime after the new year. And I was just like, man, I just... I just want it to be done. So yep. it's nice to have it all finally done. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I got Mr. Router's gift arrived for me today. Thank Yay. you, sir. Mm -hmm. Got a PSN gift card and then a little, a little uh, Rocket League car inside of yes. the, I don't know what the ball thing that it was inside of, but I, I got this little. The thing that you hit around. almost is like a it's micro ball. Yeah, it's a Rocket League ball. ball. I, I saw is it and I was like, oh my gosh, I, have, I haven't seen these. I've got to get one for all the guys. Yes, yes, thank, thank you, Router. The ball, yeah. the, okay, see, yeah, the I was like, the, cause, outside cause the car was inside and I was like, I don't remember the car dropping and like coming out of a ball, but it's like, oh, the ball that they hit around. Yes. Right. That makes mm -hmm. more sense. Dur -dur -dur. So okay. I got it now. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Nobody else's gift has shown up yet. <laughs> I got the tracking <laughs> for your gift today. No, Actually, for you and fun. Ed. You ain't got to give me nothing. You ain't got to <laughs> give me nothing. Uh, but so outside of that, gaming wise, obviously, I finally got to get in some Overwatch of the new holiday stuff with Stacy. Um, oh, I did nice. One skin, nice. I got the Ana Owl. Oh, that's so cool. So if we don't get anything, I'm going to play for the first half or so of the day tomorrow. And if we don't get anything, then I'm going to buy what I need because our Ed, when did you say it goes through the new year? I think the first is the last day. Oh, OK. Well, if that's the case, then I still have time because I don't want to spend my coins to buy anything if something might drop. Yeah. But I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, man, if nothing drops tomorrow, I need to buy all the stuff that I want. Uh, so I guess I'll just hold off and wait a little bit and see if. One of, I really want last year's Yeti skin. That's the one that I want the most. Mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that one drops. And the soldier skin. I like that one. That thing. Uh, is dope. And I got to play mm -hmm. some more of the Call of Duty multiplayer. And I finally had some time where I could sit down and record some more of the Call of Duty campaign. Yeah. Oh, good. There's cool. some up on the YouTube channel. I'm about, mm -hmm. I don't know how many, how many chapters there are because on the bottom of the screen, I think it shows six and it shows a little arrow, but you can't advance right. the arrow until you've unlocked them. Mm. So I'm not sure how many in total there are. So, I want to say like I'm halfway through, but I'm I'm a little bit past halfway on the first page, so I don't know how many's mm -hmm. on the next page. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a oh, lot good. of fun. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun with it so far. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see where it goes. Hopefully, depending on when we come back, if we come back early this weekend, I'm hoping to get another gaming session or two in, and then next week I'll I'll try and fit it in in the evening some. So 
looking forward to that. And then once I finish up with that, finally we'll jump over to uh, the plan. Anyways, is jump over to Battlefront. If mm. I get more gift cards and find another game, who knows? Maybe something else will take I my know, attention. That's right. But there you we'll go. Just have to see. Um, but that is pretty much it for me. So. Oh, hang on, I gotta look at my little thing yep, here. You gotta go this way, uh, <laughs> Mr. Patillo. Hey. Yes. Oh no, I'm I'm on your other side. Oh, Gabe. And that, yep, router your other side. Yep. Um, I <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you're not what? watching this, this makes zero Gabe? sense. Gabe. Yeah, exactly. makes zero. <laughs> All right, what's going on with you? Um, well, um, this last week, me and Jenny headed out. Uh, we actually had to go pretty far to find this Best Buy. And so we went to Best Buy, I mean, uh, Blockbuster. Oh, look at and, this. And I went to Blockbuster. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And nice. Oh, so you this one was a fr- Yeah, this one was further away, so, but they had mm. DVDs. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Ah. Good. Bring it, bring so it, bring it. I was being it. so terrible on rewinding, so I was mm. like, well, if I go get a DVD, then you gotta, it shouldn't matter. You got to be kind and rewind. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So will you guys pull up to the fire and us try to decide oh, on a yeah. movie? Ooh. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go. Here Let's we go. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. NYC ad exec Holly Maddox dreams mm. of the perfect life, the mm. perfect job. Don't we all? And mm-hmm. of course, the perfect man to sweep her off her feet. Of course. Mm-hmm. As she passes by a window display on her way to work, she can't help but notice a hunky mannequin in the window, but then Weird. slips and falls. When she awakes, she finds the perfectly hunky mannequin, Bo, has come to life and is helping her onto her feet. What? What? They hit it off. Bo, <laughs> but Bo oh. has a crazy ex-girlfriend who is also a mannequin. <laughs> of you course. don't say get out. <laughs> no, no, no. Holly has to decide if being perfect is the perfect fit for her. 2012's Holly's Holiday. Mannequin 3. Oh, I know, right? Oh, yeah, my three. lord. <laughs> Mannequin 3 wow. Holiday Edition. I know. Yeah. So Woo. there's that. That's a winner. All right. That's All right. I like that one. Let me get Give this us up. the next one. Let's get another one out of this box here. That was bad. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You feeling oh, cozy, Ed? I like your scarf. I, oh, I love the scarf. I gotta, you gotta cuddle up to the fire with you guys. Right. I get it. I get it. All right. Get all snugly. <laughs> Preparing to deliver presents on Christmas, Santa sits in his castle in space. Wait, what? I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Space? <laughs> wow. you, did you say space? I said space. Okay. Castle. You said space and a castle. Castle was weird enough. Who then we went want to a space? castle in space. I mean, Santa <laughs> oh. should have a castle. Jeez. Exactly. Carry on. He is especially interested in helping Lupita, a poor girl who wants nothing more than a doll for Christmas. That and suspicious. a young boy whose parents are so wealthy, they never spend time with him. Ah. However, oh. Satan has sent his minion pitch. <laughs> wow, we've thrown in <laughs> Satan in now too. To Biblical. ruin Santa's plans. Ooh. Now it's up to Santa and Merlin, who he lives with. <laughs> who he lives with? I know. There's so know. many people in this Let's one. Let's throw in so King many. Arthur and his Knights <laughs> of the Round Table while we're at it. Is Mrs. Claus cool with this situation? <laughs> yeah, she is. Uh, is, it Sa- is it Santa or Satan? It's, I don't know it, which one now. Santa and Merlin fighting Satan. Satan, of course. Yes. They have to defeat Pitch and <laughs> save Christmas. I'm so lost. Of course. Exactly. Ni- yes. 1959's Ooh. Whoa. Santa Claus. Just Santa, Santa Claus? Claus? Just Santa Claus. Just, <laughs> that should be <laughs> North Pole, Avengers Infinity War, North Pole uh, edition. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> should be King Arthur's satanic Santa Claus or something <laughs> with Merlin thrown in. Right. Wow. wow. Fantastic work, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, my wow. gosh. Wow. What? They threw another movie in here. <gasps> oh my God! It, it must be the it must be the Christmas episode. <laughs> it is. It's Christmas it episode. Be. Go. <laughs> All right. And are you <laughs> giving on, your Andrew, scarf? That on, yeah. That okay. On. Good. Good. <laughs> Santa's behind on his rent again. Oh, again. We got <laughs> welfare, Santa. Here we go. 
and his landlord is ready to collect. Is it Merlin? He call he calls up Sam Whipple, now a lawyer. Who? Whipple. Whipple. Don't oh, squeeze yeah. the Sherman. Exactly. Whipple. Cool, cool Whipple. Who's now a lawyer? Who wrote him a thank you note as a child saying he'd return the favor someday? Oh. That that day is now. Mm. Makes perfect sense. Phineas Prune, <laughs> who holds the deed to the North Pole, is, demand <laughs> is demanding back rent or he'll evict Santa, Miss Claus, and his elves. And can't his roommate, get behind Merlin. on the rent. Can't get behind on the rent. <laughs> it's up to Sam and Santa to find a way to pay off Prune to prevent Christmas from being canceled. Yeah. Mm. 1966's Ooh. The Christmas That Almost Wasn't. Boom. Oh. Wow. Wow. Man. We got choices, Ugh. guys. Man, I'm oh, scared man. for Santa. Thank you. Santa that was, is in trouble this year. That was a Christmas present in and of <laughs> itself. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't need to, you don't need to send me anything. Santa needs to get his life got, together. I got my present. <laughs> yeah. He man. needs his priorities straight and clearly Jesus. Right? Santa needs a Dave Ramsey book. <laughs> beans and rice, rice and beans. That's right. You better work that envelope system, Doc. That's right. God. You don't envelope have the cash, system. you don't buy it. That's right. So, uh, besides that, nothing much has been going on. Oh, okay. Wow. Good. Good. Great. Good to hear. Oh. Uh, Amara's feeling better. Good. Good. She's That's back good. in school. Milo's feeling better. No Yay. longer has the flu. Remy and Jenny, however, oh, oh, gosh. they got it, no. didn't they? All up under the weather, Doc. All oh, up under no. it. Dang so, it! Man. Yeah, that's that sucks. So uh, it's been just a lot of running around, and and when you're a dad of a whole house full of sick people, you're just mm -hmm. trying to like number one not get sick. So my hands are like dry as a mug for as much as I've been washing them. Yeah, yeah. and then. You know, you do, you're just trying to run around and do errands and, you know, anything that you would tackle together, you're tackling alone. So mm -hmm. uh, I've just been running around doing errands and then, you know, you're trying to get Christmas gifts and, you know, half of them were buying from stores, half of them were getting off Amazon and stuff like that. So uh, just been running around today, man. So it's been a it's been a good day. Mm. It's been a good couple of days and we're hoping that Remy's going to come out of this thing in the next couple of days. And, you know, we don't want anybody sick for Christmas. That's that's the main thing. Mm. Right. Of course not. Yeah, but we went to Opryland uh, two nights ago and went and saw the lights down there. You know, the Opryland oh, Hotel nice. here in Nashville. So that was that was cool. And um, yeah, everything else has just been chilling, but going. Nice. Yeah. So good. It's Christmas good. time. So that's great. I'm trying nice. to look on the bright side of things. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, gaming should. wise. I haven't been able to dive into anything. The other night I played some, uh, I started the PlayStation up to do something and I feel like I didn't do it. I just can't remember what it was. Mm. Um, I've been playing a little bit NBA 2K18. Oh, I, I got on there to download. <laughs> Stancil hit us up. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. What was that all about? <laughs> I missed that whole that conversation. Geez. He was like, yeah. <laughs> He was like, so I heard Payday something something Crime Wave edition is fun and you can play it with four people. Who's in? And Chris was like, I'm down. And I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. It, it looks like a 2015 release. You sure it's good? He's like, purchased and downloading. I'm like, wait, wait. Why, why are you? <laughs> I know, I know. O only Chris know. said he was down. He was like, bam, got it, guys. I was like, uh. <laughs> I said I was down, but I was really meaning I want to see who all chimes in. <laughs> right, right, right. But hey, let's right. do this thing. And so it was. Why not? It was funny because me and Chris just happened to be talking at that time. And I was like, I'm going to start just sending games that we can play multiple people and say I bought it. I'd be like, evolve, y'all. Five people. We could get it there done. It Purchased Who's and there? downloading. <laughs> Be like, oh, snap, they got NBA Playgrounds on sale. Four people, 202. That'd be dope. Purchase downloading. So, <laughs> well, I, and I saw that too. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. And, and, and he said, I can't see? play tonight. I was like, what? <laughs> 
<laughs> He's like, best. yeah. Oh, wait, my download didn't go through. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to bed. Goodbye. <laughs> as long as I don't start it, I can get a refund, right? That's how PSN right. works. That's true. Right? That's how it works. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So that was exciting yesterday. <laughs> uh, but that's about it for me. Uh, <laughs> Rowdy, you got it? I got it, brother. Oh, well, let's do it. What you got, Bishop? All right, man. We got some new releases. We it's like DLC week, apparently. We got yeah. South Park: The Fractured Butthole Danger Deck. Oh, that was quick. For Xbox One and PC. Is that fast or no? Uh, yeah, it's pretty fast. It came out in September, right? September. But I mean, are these expansions or DLCs, are they large know. or are they like little bitty I, things? I, they might just be a little itty bitty things. I have no idea. Yeah. I, hey, I just read this, man. I don't follow up. You know? <laughs> yeah, they, they already had DLC it. for Wolfenstein last week. So, and that was pretty yeah. quick. Yep. Yeah. I just didn't know if you had played any kind of, or if there ever came out any DLC for the, the first South Park game and if either of you had played it. Yeah. Was uh, there any DLC for that? And were I they mean, short? If, I don't, I don't know. remember it's, any. I don't remember okay. either. And maybe I, I think cares. when I downloaded it, it could have been the complete edition anyway. And I yeah, I, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So I, I yeah, because you got it with the pre order, right? Right, but Ten, I actually yeah. didn't get it with the pre order, so I went ahead and oh, got that's it anyway. right. Yeah, a bunch of weirdness. <clears throat> yeah. Um. All right. So we've got that. We've got Minecraft Jeez. Story Mode Season Two, Episode Five, Above and Beyond for the PS4, PC, and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope. Awesome. All right. Lego Marvel Super Heroes Two: Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, released for the PS4 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Nice. Need for Speed Payback Speed Cross for the PS4. Uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Episode Three: Hell is Empty, for the is PS4. It? And PC and Xbox One. Santa mm-hmm. would disagree. I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Sam Whipple or whatever that dude's name was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sam Tiny Whip Tro- Appeal. <laughs> Sam <laughs> Whipple. Uh, Tiny Troopers Joint Ops XL for the Nintendo Switch. There you go, Gabe. It's all you, brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, Max, The Curse of Brotherhood for the Nintendo Switch. The Coma Recut for the Nintendo Switch. Guns, Gore, and Cannoli for the Nintendo Switch. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Chris. Oh, my gosh. That was your favorite, wasn't it, Chris? Uh, oh, you know, man, the struggle. Ah, uh, jeez. I, <laughs> I almost rage quit that game so many times. Yeah. Right. Oh, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, good I didn't. But I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I'm not, I'm done. <laughs> you're, and you're certainly not doing it on the Switch, that's for sure. No, 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 I'm not. Mm, I don't advise gentlemen. anybody to do it on the Switch. Exactly. Just, or do it at all. Just go. watch my playthrough and Just be like, that's it. At all. That's all you need. None. Yep. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have MPD for the month of November. What? So let's, let's get it on. Here what? we go. <laughs> the video game industry was booming last month as holiday spending kicked in. Spending was up across the board, totaling $2.68 b- b- billion Goodness and up, gracious. ready for it, up 33-0% from November wow. of 2016. Really? Ac- according to industry tracking firm, the NBT wow. group. So here we go. We got total 2.68 billion up 30%. Hardware 1.147 billion up 52% from last year. Mm-hmm. The Switch. Cons- console yep. soft yeah, console software 1.16 billion up 19%. PC software 33 million up 13%. Wow. S- accessories up 344 million, up 11%. Mm. Here we go. Top 10 games for the month of November. Number right. 10, Pokemon Ultra Sun. Hmm. Number 9, Destiny 2. Destiny 2. Number 8, Need for Speed Payback. Number 7, FIFA 18, of course. Wow, yep. Number 6, Super Mario Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Number 5, Madden NFL 18. Mm. But number six only for Odyssey. I was just thinking release that last month. Yeah, yeah. That should, that should still be pretty high, shouldn't it? Uh, that seems low know. to me. Yeah. I mean, when did it come out? I thought it came out in October. In this, this yeah, November's think, right. Yeah, this would be for November's. Wow, but it was it was October, mid October, like the end it? of October, wasn't it? 
I don't know. I don't know. I just would have figured in the get first couple that. months it was going to be like top of the yeah, charts. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll know. You'll probably know why because number five would, of course, be Madden NFL 18. Four would be NBA 2K 18. Mm. Here we go. Three, Assassin's Creed Origins. All right. Still up there. Nice. Number two, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And number one, Call of Duty World War II. Wow. I mean, it would, it would make sense that multi-platform games would have beat out Mario. Uh, yeah, right. I, and, I think and, so. Yes, yes. Didn't Assassin's true. Creed come out in, in November? October. Late oh, October. Oh, really? October? Okay. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I think it was late October. So it said publisher Activisions and developer Sledgehammer's games, Call of Duty World War II, was the biggest winner last month, becoming the best-selling game of 2017 for the past 12 months. Call of Duty generated more launch month consumer spending than any Call of Duty debut since the release of Call of Duty Black wow. Ops 2 wow. in, no- in November of 2012. So people want their World War II back, clearly. Wow, right? Uh, it wasn't well, even, a shabby... Even, like, maybe more so than that, they just want... They don't want to be flying around anymore. They didn't want yeah, to... It didn't work yeah. well for <laughs> Call of Duty. It works well yeah. for, like, Titanfall and some other games, but yep, in the Call yep. of Duty world, just that formula, I don't feel like it fits well. Mm. Yeah, yep, very true. If you go past modern, they don't like it. Yep. yep. Ubisoft's Assassin's mm-hmm. Creed uh, dropped from number two last month to only number three. So since its launch in October, it's mm. generated the highest consumer spend for the franchise since, wait for it, Black Flag in 2013. Right. Sure. Yeah. But there you have it. So, yeah. And isn't and then, this the same team that did Black Flag is the same one who I did Origins, right? Believe so. Mm. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I think you're right. So they've hit two home runs, essentially. Yeah, home runs back-to-back. Nice. Well, not back-to-back, but yes. Uh, yeah. The racing genre continued to gain traction, too. In October, sales doubled year over year, thanks to games like Forza Motorsport and Gran Turismo. And in November, sales tripled. Mm. So Wow. All in all, people are buying games. And right. hardware. Sony's PlayStation 4 has stayed at the top as the best-selling platform, and November didn't change that. It stayed number one, and Sony also hmm. sold more That's consoles. That's surprising than, to me. Sony also sold more consoles than any other month in the PS4's lifetime. Wow! Really? So man, what? November is just really November, yeah, shocking, right? Hardware sales yeah. were up. Dang, I wouldn't expected so that. Hardware sales were up fifty-two percent from last year. Jeez, so what the it, heck? And it's, it's also thanks to the popularity of the Nintendo Switch and Microsoft's Xbox One, which had a record month that outsold any other month life to date. Though the PS4 okay. sold the most number of consoles, the Xbox One brought in more revenue. So, man, I interesting. Mean, big, hmm. big month, November 2017 for gaming and for consoles. And that's fantastic. I'll take that. That's wow. like yeah. thir- wow. 30%. Increase in games, fifty-two percent in consoles. That's huge. Mm, that's huge. incredible. It's huge. Huge. So, huge. Bigly. Bigly. Um, we have no oops. It's a Christmas miracle. So no. we have. Unless you really? guys have any, we have a uh, we have zero oops. So like we're good there. And that is it for me, gentlemen. Nice, Christopher Back McCracken. So it looks like we've gotten our first patch for PUBG on the Xbox One, all Xbox Ones, the One, One S, One X. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a ton that it did here. There is some performance stuff in particular that I'll just kind of read out real quick. It says the first pass visual and performance improvements, slight improved anti-aliasing on Xbox One and Xbox One S, because I'm sure the X has great anti-aliasing anyways, because it should be able to run at 4K. Localization changes. Um, the controls on motorcycle are no longer inverted, which why they would do that, I don't know. That don't make no sense. Sure to annoy why they would take away that. And then this, I saw, thought this was interesting. It said keyboard functionality is disabled. Mm. Oh, because can't you have a keyboard on the Xbox? You can, just like you can on the PS4, but... but why? Like, why would why would you disable it? I mean, that that's strange to me. I know it gives a bit of a competitive advantage, but I mean, every game can have it. it. Yeah. Anybody can use it, and it, it's weird to me, which maybe because they're tied together. But it doesn't say mouse is disabled, just keyboard. <laughs> so if somebody like with their joystick and their <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes I mean, zero it's just sense. Kind of weird to me. Weird. Um, yeah. So. And then I was looking over here on Polygon. They were saying that they actually jumped in and did a little bit of a run through just anecdotally to test some of these things. And they were saying that they just found the improvements to the gameplay performance wise 
is marginal at best. So it sounds like it's still struggling mm. a bit. But despite the fact that it's obviously having issues on the older consoles in particular, um, it it seems like people are still buying the and playing the mess out of it. So everybody's saying, well, yeah, it's pretty janky, but man, it's still a lot of fun. I know. So I'm like, well, I mean, as mm-hmm. long as you're having fun, that's all that really matters at the end of the day. Yeah. So I wonder if, you know, cause their control scheme has always been an issue, you know, with, cause when yeah. the PUBG with the vaulting and everything that everybody was like waiting on. And so I just wonder if like bringing it to the console, they were like, let's not even mess with the keyboard on the Xbox. Let's just have it disabled. Yeah, and we'll just I mean, do it maybe. for the and not have to even bother with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. It's an incomplete game as it is. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so yeah. why not? Why stop now? Yeah, I guess. I mean, shoot, I don't know. A lot of people and in, in, like I said, people that I follow have been playing it and saying the same thing. They're like, "Man, this game is messed up," but yet I keep wanting to play it. Right. But and then still we've got a lot it. of people mm-hmm. on our Discord. Like I, because I planned fully to jump in. And I still plan to jump in at yeah. some point. Yep. But with all this rigmarole was happening with the performance on it, because I have an OG Xbox One, and it was even having performance issues on the Xbox One X. It's like, man, if the Xbox One X is having issues, I don't have a prayer that my console is going to be able to handle this game and, and not play but like garbage. So that, I was like, I'm, that's what's crazy. It don't seem that deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't seem like it's like when um, the Telltale yes. games were acting up. You're like, these don't even seem that like yeah. computer right. sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Like right. intensity. I mean, I mean, it shouldn't be a CPU it's, suck, that's for sure. Yeah. It's got to be mm-hmm. because it's, you know, and for all intents and purposes, a preview game. It's not fully <laughs> yeah. out yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? They got the the thing is, is it's supposed to be out like early spring. It's supposed to come out of early access and all that stuff on all platforms that yeah. it's on. Um, so I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes then. I, I can't, I have to believe that they're going to get it all fixed up. I have no doubt about that. But it's just, I was like, man, I just don't want to. I don't want to pay $30 and then re-up my live and then be like, man, this is not fun to play because it's jank. Right. So mm, I'm right. going to wait. I'm holding off until it's it's kind of settled down a little bit or seems like it's smoothed out a bit. And then I'm definitely going to jump in. I do still really want to try it out, but I, I just yeah. don't want I don't want my experience to be sour and then like psh, re-up my live for this trash. Right. You know, right, I don't right. I don't want to feel that way. I want to go in and ha- take the best that they can give me and then decide, is this game for me? Yep. That's yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait it out. There you go. Um, Man, this story I thought was awesome. Uh, there's a kid named Micah Fry, and him and his family a couple years ago kind of found themselves in some hard times, and they were living in an emergency shelter. And, mm. Oh, wow. And kind of just went through a, a tough time. So that was when he was six. So now mm. he's nine, and his grandmother asks him this year, um, hey, would you want to – give up one of your gifts to buy a blanket for, you know, some of these homeless people that are walking around here in the cold. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah. And she was like, which one do you want to donate? And he said, uh, the Xbox. And so he gave up his Xbox so he could buy 60 blankets for people, uh, out there. Um, and you know, you, you presume because he lived in a shelter, he kind of can, you know, he feels it more than maybe your average nine-year-old. Yeah. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> Microsoft caught wind of this, and they were like, "Ah, oh, nah, Doc, come uh, to the yes. store. You're coming to the back. Santa's back here and and gave uh, him an Xbox One S uh, and mm. gave him a bunch of other stuff to take, uh, take along with him. He breaks down sick. crying. You know, that Fox was amazing. there recording it. And it's just like, Oh, that's what this season's all about. Like a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old, you know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? Said, you know what? I'll give up my Xbox so some homeless people out here can have blankets for the cold. Wow. That is next level. That's next level. Like I'm 35. You know what I'm saying? Like if you asked me, I'd be like, yeah, (laughs) let's give up something or let's go buy some meals. But like, I don't know that even I would have done it with my, my extra. I don't know right. if I would have done it with right. what with, I needed. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And just the wherewithal of this kid, Micah Fry, man, in Ohio. My that's awesome. Hats off to him, man. That's, yeah. Merry Christmas, man. Yeah, that's what mm-hmm. this is all about this time of year. Ohio represent. Yeah, man. And his parents are doing a good job with him, man. That he's mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. nine years old telling his grandmother he'll give up his Xbox to buy 60 blankets. And yeah. so it's cool because the shelter, you know, because they did it. You know, he 
It's not like he talked about it and still got the Xbox. He gave up his Xbox and they gave away the blankets at the shelter. Mm-hmm. And then Microsoft gave him another Xbox. So he ended up getting the Xbox. But like he it wasn't like just the thought. He did it. Oh, no, he did know? it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Wow. So I thought that was a really cool story. And I was like, we can't That's not awesome. tell this kind of story. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, yeah. I always yeah. wondered, like, whenever um, something like this happens and then a company is like, oh, this person did a great deed. We're going to shower them with with, you know, Gifts. build them up as well. Mm-hmm. I always wonder, like, how did how did they hear about it? Yeah, how they find like, out? Was there just like a Microsoft guy like walking by, like, "What you don't say?" Well, I'm gonna go back and tell my people <laughs> yeah, at the store. Yeah. You know, I always wonder yeah. how they find out about this because it's it's awesome thing. No yeah. matter how I would you imagine do it, his like, grandmother went and bragged on him to the news. St- yeah, station. Maybe. nobody. Yeah, right, you know right. what I'm saying. I can't imagine he got online was like, so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So look how I'm great I just like, got rid of my Xbox. What up? Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> Next I, level given. Yeah. But I'd imagine, his, you know, his grandmother, his mom, you know, mm-hmm. went somebody. and told somebody mm-hmm. and somebody told somebody and and Microsoft yeah. heard about it. And so I just think that's, you know, hats off to Microsoft, too, for stepping that's up yeah, right man. away and being like, you know, we're going to take care of this kid. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah. Love it. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. What else you got, Christopher? Um, so there was a an indie fighting game called Rising Thunder. Mm. It was uh, developed by a, a group called uh, Radiant Entertainment. Um, a couple back in March of 2016, Radiant Entertainment was bought by Riot Games, who makes things like League of Legends and whatnot. Uh, mm. And they subsequently shut down the development on this game, Rising Thunder. Well, what they did is they released the code for the game called Rising Thunder, they now dubbed it Rising Thunder Community Edition. And they basically just put the su- the source code out there and said, here, you can take this and just continue to make the game. Because the game was being developed and they had like people beta testing it and whatnot. And they were like, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Please, please don't stop making it. And obviously it got shut down. They're like, well, shoot, we're not making this game anymore. Have it and just build on it and do what you do oh, and wow. go out there and make Ooh, mods and do all this kind of stuff. So like, I never played this game. I never even heard of it. And it's only on the PC as far as I can tell, but I was just like, man, hmm. that's gotta be like the most perfect thing for people out there who do modding and all like dabble. Say, modders, with games yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Right there. There's like, Oh my gosh, I just got the source code for this fighting game and I can just do with it as I will and make mm-hmm. what I want out of it. I thought that was crazy cool. That's really cool. I can't dope. do anything with it, but if I could, man, I'd be down in there messing me like, all right, <laughs> mm-hmm. cool, and you're going to throw a beer at your face. That's going to be a special move and <laughs> all this kind of stuff. That Roland's going to come in. That right. would be fun because it's like, you know, there's nothing like the power of open source. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Usually, be- you know, when you get that many brains working on on one thing, you know, Obviously, something crazy could come out of it, but like you know, something yeah. really, really cool could come out of it too. And then here you can you know sit back and remember when this game got shut down, and then look at what it is today. That would be that'd be really cool if it became something really, really awesome. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Here's the source. Go for it. Yeah, I like it. That's so Do cool. It as you will. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever play uh, any Burnout? Yes. I didn't. No. Nope. I was a huge Burnout fan. I think they were who originally did that Crash Breaker and everything in their games, right? Was that Burnout, Ed? Yep, yep, that was them. And then that got re-released into that mess that you played a while ago. Mm -hmm. What was that one called? That gem of a game. That gem of, I forget what it was called. They did that one in that crazy golfing explosion game as well. Dangerous Golf. Oh, yeah, Dangerous Dangerous Golf. Dangerous Golf, right. Yeah. And I remember we had our, me and Ed especially, had our sights set so high Uh, for that that demolition game because when it was in burnout it was just like so much fun like i almost mm-hmm. didn't do the racing i just did the crashing over and over yeah again. well it looks like burnout paradise might be coming to the xbox one ps4 and nintendo switch this game is 10 years old and so right. i don't know exactly what they're gonna do you know i, I mean obviously they're gonna port it over but um and there's like a leaky kind of thing where it's saying it might come on march 1st um but I thought it would be really interesting that Burnout out of all these, because I would love for a Burnout game to come back out. I feel like Burnout Paradise came out as a Games with Gold within the last year. But the old version, right? On the Xbox. Was it a backwards compatible game? It might have been backwards compatible. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I've got it via Games with Gold. Right, Ooh. but for it to come to the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, you know, obviously oh, it would be right, you right. Know, doing a little ramp up. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is going to happen, but I think that would be awesome. And if you want to feel old, today, mm-hmm. the day of recording, 
Titanic came out 20 years ago. Wow. wow. Really? 20? On this day, December 20th, 20 wow. years ago. Wow. 20 years ago. Titanic Man. came out, hit the Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I remember wherever you are, I know where I was at. I was in the theater. With I've my, never you. seen Titanic. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. It's okay. All right. I've seen bits and parts, but I've never seen I bet like, you have. sat down and watched the uh -huh. whole thing. Interesting. No, I Did never not... saw that bit and part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I heard about it. I was like, what? Maybe I should watch this now. As a kid. I hey, was, Winslet, what? I, I, I was with my mom, my grandparents, <laughs> and my little brother. Oh, perfect. I was yes. like, oh, snap. Cover your eyes. She doesn't have Draw any clothes me like on. one of your French girls. <laughs> yeah. My mom <laughs> leans over. She goes, cover your brother's eyes. I was like, no <laughs> problem. <laughs> but I can still look, right? Exactly. Yeah, you're like, bing. <laughs> yeah. um, I love it. Yeah. Anyway, 20 years. 20 man. years ago. Crazy. Mm. So hopefully this is true and we get to play a little Burnout Paradise. Because I would love to play. And I would just want them to do the crash thing right on something. Because yeah. being, so for the story, Ed played whatever game got released. And we thought mm -hmm. it was going to be awesome. And the whole mm -hmm. game takes place in a garage. And it's just one board. Oh, that's right. And it doesn't go anywhere else. And Ed's, Like a parking mm -hmm. garage, right? Yeah, or like, like a, a, yeah. a parking yeah. garage, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ed's thinking that he's just doing the tutorial. And he's like, yeah, all right, well, over. we're going to make it up to like, yeah, exactly. we're going to make it up to an airport or a huge intersection in a city sometime soon here. Yeah. What happened? Why did they do that? I don't know. And, and I, as I recall, they were like, they weren't even real cars. They were like test cars or whatever. And it's like, I want to cause a real ruckus. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe uh. it. <laughs> what else you got, Christopher? No dice. Well, if a job listing on Blizzard's website is to be believed, Ooh. they might be working on a new first-person game that has, in some way, shape, or form, vehicle combat or vehicle stuff mm. in it. So they had a listing on their website that was for a senior software engineer and that the successful candidate would be responsible for helping to create vehicles and build vehicle handling features in a robust first-person engine for an unannounced project. So, mm. uh. I mean, as far as I know, isn't wasn't Overwatch the very first outing for Blizzard in being a first person kind of thing? Maybe because before it was World of Warcraft and Starcraft, Diablo and mm. Warcraft. Yeah, Diablo and all these was other games was like, well, mm. right? Yeah, Diablo. So it makes it sound like I don't feel like they're going to put vehicles into Overwatch. So this sounds like it could be a completely new game. Overwatch like, Racing. Huh. Mm. Ooh, Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Listen to you over there. <laughs> Right. I love it whenever these job listing things are done because you know it's kind of crazy because it's like, all right, they need somebody to fill this role. They gotta they they want to be vague, but they, they gotta they, put they it out there. Like let the cat out of the bag, but they gotta be like, uh, we need a new person for what? <laughs> Everybody say all the game is like, what do you need them to do? Right. Something on a game. Yeah. Mind your business is what we need you to do. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like you think they'd find some way to have like a little developer area where they could just put the little job listings out there. Hey. You got a buddy that can make vehicle games in first person. <laughs> Tell them to come our way yeah. or something just so that they could keep it quiet. So it's always cool whenever stuff like this comes out and you can just yeah. speculate. Yeah. What could it be? You know, it's funny. I think speaking of like being cloak and dagger about something, I think the first Star Wars, is that one, the one that was called Blue Moon or something like that when they were shooting it? I feel oh. like the first Star Wars had a I secret name to it. Moon. Blue, yeah, harvest. Like for that too. Blue, blue harvest, harvest. Blue, blue harvest. harvest. Blue harvest. Yes. Blue harvest. Blue um, harvest. I just thought it was funny that it had a secret name when nobody knows what it, it's coming anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> it's a yeah. brand new movie. That's true. That's a good yeah, point. And it almost didn't even get made. They were like, I don't know about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. these actors are kind of so so. Mm -hmm. Um, so I thought this was kind of cool. Right now, I don't know if you guys saw this last night, but in LA, the Lakers retired Kobe Bryant's jersey. Right. Mm. And they actually mm. retired both of his jerseys because he wore the number eight for a long time and then he wore the number 24 for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so they retired both jerseys. So Dime Magazine in NBA 2K played a one-on-one -on -one match against number eight Kobe uh, Bryant awesome. and number 24 Kobe Bryant, which uh -huh. I think is kind of cool because you got to remember That's Kobe... Really cool came to the league, this might be an oops, 
but he came to the league. I think he was he was really young. I want to say he was yeah, like he was seventeen young. or something stupid. Yeah, he was straight out of high school. He was something yeah. like crazy young. And so people used to say that number eight was really aggressive, had a lot of energy, was really fast. But then number 24 was a little older, a little wiser, a little slower, mm. but was game smart. You know, it was basketball yeah. smart. Mm. And so yeah. they were going to play uh, best two out of three because, you know, he had this 20 year long career. And uh, they say number 24 just took him to the mat. That's Every really, day. really. Wow. Yeah, and it's kind of what Kobe said. Kobe said, you know, I might not have been as fast or, you know, as, you know, or as attacking, but I was a way better basketball smart. player yeah, when I was smarter. 24. And so veteran Kobe, man, got the young buck 51 to 28. Ooh. And in the second game, 50 wow. to 30. So Ooh. not really? even wow. close. Wow. So, Jeez. You know, and that's, that's the closest, like a blowout. Right. And that's the closest we're going to get to Kobe playing Kobe. Mm -hmm. NBA 2K. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really cool. So Lakers number eight, he's got hair and the goatee. And then when he's 24, it's all shaven, clean shaved face and everything like that. Yep. So I love that. I love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. That's great. The Black Mamba. He was a beast. Chris, what else you got? Uh, jeez. The last story that I have uh, is it looks like uh, the video game Catherine, which was, oh yeah, I don't want to say I like a as an indie darling. I mean, because it wasn't really an indie game, but I, like it had a kind of a cult following. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it it did. seems like they're going to be remaking it and re-releasing it for the PS4 and Vita, which is kind of crazy. Another Vita game. They're, they're, yeah, Ooh. another Vita game, uh, and it's going to be called uh, Catherine Full Body, and they're going to be they're going to have a. a so the way that Catherine works is they have two Catherines that you're kind of going back and forth between in the game, which I bought it on PS3. I played a little bit of it. I never kind of got back to it. Um, so what little, I, this is the little bit that I know about it. Um, so there's Catherine that's your girlfriend and then there's Catherine, this girl that you meet. And the whole thing is going back and forth about like, well, you're controlling the main character and like, are you going to cheat or what are you going to do? And it's all this kind of relationship type stuff okay. in between. And then there's this puzzle platform gameplay in between. Um, and these nightmares that the character has. Well, this version is going to introduce a third character that I guess is going to be part of a like a love triangle kind of thing called Ren. I don't know how that's going to fit in. There's also going to be some other story missions. So There's wait, is, be it a, some more. is it a re-release or is it a sequel? It's there. It's kind of like a remaster, but they're also adding new things to the game. Like a game so of the year edition almost? Kind of, except this is stuff that never came to the game the first time around. This is brand new stuff. Gotcha. So mm. for people who are like played it on PS3, and I'm not sure if it, even, I think it came out on Xbox. I'm not sure about that though. But the people who played it before and liked it, they're going to probably buy this regardless because it's got new content. It's going to have online features as well. And it's going to have cross save support between PS4 and Vita. So you'll be able to wow. go back. And, I'm wondering nice. if it's going to end up having, I doubt it's going to have cross buy, or at least they haven't announced it yet. But that would be really cool, too, if you buy it on one and you could have it on both as yeah. well as just having cross save. Um, like I said, I picked it up on the PS3. It was on sale for like three dollars or something ridiculous on one crazy sale uh -huh. just because I'd heard about it forever. Yep. Uh, and I, I didn't get back to it. But it's one of those things where if it's cheap enough or it's on sale, like I might buy it because I feel like it's the type of game that would work for Vita, which I don't play my Vita a ton anymore. It did look like that. But I feel like sure. that could be definitely one of those games that you do because there's a lot of like you have to do a, a dialogue choices and there's not a ton of like twitchy gameplay so i feel like it would be mm. an excellent fit for the vita so i'm kind of excited to see how it how it comes out and if it's going to be a 60 dollar release or is it going to be like 20 bucks or what's it going right. to be yeah, yeah i'm kind yeah. of curious to see so we'll just have to see when it comes out it, it looks like it's still a ways out it's only about 50 percent complete right now so we still got some time maybe it's coming out the same time as last of us and <laughs> death stranding hey i don't hey anyone want to make a bet <laughs> i don't know i'm all betted out for right now <laughs> going I don't want to win it. Exactly. Hey, exactly. There's that confidence. It's like, I'm good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ed, what you got? Over on the YouTubes, Chris definitely has been playing some Call of Duty because we've got yeah. parts 3 through 11 over there. Hey. So go and it's a hey. fun campaign. So yeah. uh, definitely go and check that out. I like it. Looking at our top 10 YouTube videos, combining the average watch time and views for the week of December 12th through the 18th. Number 10, Married to the Games, episode 273, Cookies All Year Round. That's two episodes ago. Yeah. yeah. That's huh. crazy. Wow. 
Because number nine, Married to the Games, episode 274, the sequel. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that worked out. Nope. That's kind of like The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi. That's right. Just like that. <laughs> exactly. That's right. They just go together. Right. I can't wait for, for school. <laughs> <laughs> number eight, like Ori and the Blind Forest, part 14. <gasps> Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I got my throat fast swap and my throat fast swap. Keep it down down there. Uh, number seven, Hue part four, uh, pink. <laughs> there we go. Number six. Daddy with the Hue. Chris, Game Awards, live react. Yeah. Hey. You did it. Good job, you. Good job, you. Number five, Hue part nine, mountains. That's number my favorite Hue. It is. Mountains. I love Mountains. It was always my favorite crayon. The mountains. Uh, mountains exactly. of you. Like, you keep this freaking red and blue. Give me mountains. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> mountains or periwinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Watch Dogs 2, part 19, paint job. There Number it is. three, Watch Dogs 2, part 48, go signals. Mm. Number two, Hugh, part 10, university. <sighs> yeah. We know Copy what it and is. paste. Number one, <laughs> Hugh, part 11, cheaters. Ending. Cheaters. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just call that. Call it that from now yeah, on. They only, yeah, they only a Q part. Blah blah blah. Cheaters. Yeah. Cheaters. Q part. Blah blah blah. Cheaters. Let's start that show back up, and they just go after people who are watching Hugh Part Eleven. Ooh, I love that. I yeah. Great. Are you Hugh aware that 11? that's the ending, like that. and you're not even like trying? That. Right. Try harder. And then he gets stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Baba Jean. I'm sorry. <laughs> it happened. On, it happened on the show. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, now, thanks, Eduardo. You're welcome, Thank you, sir. You're welcome as well. Well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you, what do you want for Christmas? Now would be a good time to turn it up Mm -hmm. so your household can hear it. Kaboski! (laughs) Boarding crew! Mm -hmm. On the Discord. He said, "With (laughs) with me not shutting up about it for the past few months to my fiance." I would love to get a Nintendo Switch for Christmas. Hey. <laughs> you hear that, Kaboski's fiance? Afternoon crew? Mark Boucher, a PS4 and PUBG for Xbox One, bugs and all. Ooh, mm. wow. You hear right. that, Chris? He wants the bugs. I hear it. He's like playing Fear Factor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mental. Don't worry about it. Just eat exactly. it. Exactly. Just, just chew it up. It. Just do it. <laughs> it's just crunchy. Just act like it's a Ooh. French fry. Ooh. Right. Do it or Joe Rogan will yell at you some more. Exactly. Right. Just let it squirm around in your mouth. It's fine. That's what food does. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm. A skewed one. Much like what was stated in the episode, I prefer gift cards these days. However, yeah, but- I would also be happy if Super Mario Odyssey was waiting for me along with a couple pairs of scrub- Scrubs pants. Ooh. Like that, all right. that is different. Like doctors wear? Yeah. Like yeah. Be a doctor or all right. he's, he's good something. on the shirts. He's got shirts. He's got scrub shirts. So, I got tons so of people paint. keep giving me these pants doctors list. shirts, but I got no scrub pants. Yeah. <laughs> so if I could get those the Super Mario Odyssey, that'd be great. Yeah. I would have thought they'd come is there as a doctor pack. in the house. Yeah, you go to Target or Walmart and get both. Yeah. Mm. Nova Beyond. I want to sleep. Hashtag parent life. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Man. I get that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Eric Thompson asking Santa for a layaway gift in the form of a safe delivery and good health for our third child in early March. Yeah. Wow. Whoa, there you go. go. Bring but that on. Awesome. While I'm on his lap, a PS4 oh. Pro would be a welcome gift. Too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you've given out the gifts, I'm just Let's saying. Not get it twisted. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to save delivery first, but uh, if you could throw in a PS4 Pro. <laughs> but right now. Yeah, exactly. But for December, uh, <laughs> Fluxel, time and peace. Time Ooh. to spend with my family and friends. Peace of mind. I mm. love it. I've got a preteen and a teenager. Ooh, oh, yeah. As you're saying. Just go take peace it to you. He need all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Peace he, be with you. Yeah. Nanu, Nanu, and all that. And also with you. Mm -hmm. Over on the (laughs) forum, Robert Darrell Good Jr. Aside from being with family, I think I just want 
a bottle of Bailey's to go with my carton of eggnog. Yes. Oh, oh, oh praise. You had me at Bailey's. You praise. lost me at eggnog. Praise. Let's yeah, I'll, tell you, that's I'll a, take the Bailey's for coffee. That's you a, guys can have it for yeah. eggnog. That's a lot of cream. That is a lot of cream. That's cream on cream on cream. Mm-hmm. That's we just right. want the Irish coffee. We don't need this mm-hmm. eggnog junk. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, do the white Russian. But, but, you got to do but, Gabe's white Russian. Yeah, I do it's, like it's white Russian. But do you guys do eggnog and coffee? Have you have you had eggnog and coffee? I did. No. I did. No. It's delicious. It's quite yummy. You should try it. No. You eggnog haters. Don't knock it till you rock it. I'm looking at you, and I'm looking at you. <laughs> The upstairs don't hear what's going on down there. <laughs> <I know>, clearly. <laughs> clearly, clearly, you and I, Gabe, where we got yeah, this. him downstairs. That's right. <laughs> what's they doing down now? <laughs> Over on Twitter, at Young Gaz, I want a TV channel running back to back Scrooged. My X oh. is not complete without this classic Bill Murray film. That As a, a bonus, classic. they can rerun I've Groundhog never Day for seen the rest that. of the year. Oh, it's good. I've never seen it. I've heard it's good. It's just every year, it's like it's not. It's one of the things I don't think about. So I see the picture. I'm mm. like, oh yeah, I need to watch that someday. You do. Mm. That's a good one. At Is Shep that on Netflix, I gotta look. Probably at Shep Dog Nine Two One, a new Bluetooth headset so I can hear your goodness in more than one ear. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, nice. You do need us in stereo. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at Mike BC 1985, I just graduated from seminary in California, but my schedule yeah. only allowed my wife and I to stay in our hotel the night we arrived, and we left straight from the ceremony to go home. I want a real vacation. Ooh, mm. nice. Yeah, Amen congratulations. That. Yeah, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Congrats. Uh, Peace be with you. Yep. <laughs> at JOR 1313, I want the iPhone X, but even Santa isn't that generous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe you should mm-hmm. behave yourself a little more th- during the year, and he will be. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> when the price goes down in about a year. Exactly. <laughs> He'll be generous then. That's when the iPhone 11 is coming out. So exactly. Right. Well, and the cycle continues. <laughs> At Romaine, I want for Monster Hunter World to be released a month early. Never happened. Huh. I've never heard of it happening. But has it know. ever has that happened in any game? It's like, oh, you know what? We are way ahead of schedule. We're just going to go ahead and release this a month well, early. Y- no, I bet it's happened somewhere. But Sega used to be like, and it's out tonight. This is the worst marketing uh, move see. ever. Nobody's watching. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get one right now. right now. Everybody's like, wait, what? I spent all my right, money on the right now. Things. You can go get it. Why, why aren't you getting? I just said right now. <laughs> right right now. now, go. Why is nobody leaving? Get on out of here. <laughs> no. Everybody's like, we Conference want to is over. Yeah. Go buy. If we can download it digitally. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for the answers. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Of course, you can come to Married to the Games.com. Check out the forum. And like Ed said, you can check out YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. Now on Patreon at Patreon.com slash MTTG. Mm. Yes, sir. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. And uh ooh, I get to look at you and decide. I'll just do this. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Ed. Uh rate us on iTunes, leave a review, and we won't put any eggnog in your coffee. Oh. Yay! Nobody's going to rate us now. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to rate us. No. Oh, you'll be <laughs> surprised. Zero <laughs> ratings. We're going to rate us. We're gonna get so many ratings. Zero know what to do with them. Yeah, I know, right? I'd like to see that. Mm, so would I. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get into some questions. got to me all right let us start over on the discord with nova beyond uh have you guys watched any of gabe's terrible christmas movies i mistakenly watched santa with muscles don't watch it. <laughs> oh, no. that's what the whole warning is about so you won't have to i know i took one for the team so you won't have to 
Oh, Godspeed. Uh, I can't believe you actually watched that. That's you amazing. don't mistakenly watch that film. He yeah, sought exactly. that out. Yeah, he yeah. did. I mean, it had Hulk Hogan. Maybe he's a big Hulk Hogan fan. Who knows? He might be. You never know. He watched Suburban Commando straight over to Santa with Muscles. <laughs> there it is. That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Mark Boucher. First off, Merry Christmas, guys. Okay, so you're about to walk into the battle of your life with the mm. worst video game creature imaginable. You have a choice of one of any weapon ever made in a video game and one of any video game character as your teammate in this harrowing assault. Shoot. Jeez. What and who would you pick and why? Ah, uh, oh, Lord. Have I know mercy. Gabe's got that. I'm, I know I'm Gabe's got that sword. Yeah, Please. I mean, I would take the Buster sword, but I, I would. Oh, gosh. Who would I want? So you're going to walk into battle. You have a choice of any weapon and any video game character. It doesn't as have to teammate. be only a video as, game as character. like your partner? The character is your partner? Or the like character is you your out? teammate, yeah, in the assault. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. All right, I'm taking, I'm taking uh, Solid Snake Ugh. as my partner. A human? Sure. And my weapon is going to be the Galahorn. Oh, what's, all right, there you go. What's that? From the Destiny. G, the the, 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 Jaller, the, the Jaller OP horn. rocket launcher from Destiny 1 before it got nerfed mm. into nothingness. Yeah. Uh, so pre-patch Gallahorn, that is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. <laughs> Pre-nerfed. <clears throat> um, I'm taking, gosh, a video game character. I'm trying to think of one that was like, just could do everything, it felt like. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I hmm. think I got to take, uh, I mean, since Chris chose from his favorite game, I'll take Sephiroth, the bad guy from Final Fantasy VII. Only because he was loco in the cabeza. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. And for a weapon, I'll take down whatever that gun that would come down for Iron Man. Was it Iron Man when you played him in Marvel vs. Capcom? One of them mm. jokers had a huge gun that would come down and shoot this <laughs> like ginormous beam. <laughs> oh, and it was like awesome. ridiculous. I want to say mm. it was, was it Iron Man? Uh, it probably know. wasn't. I'm going with that big gun that came down in Marvel vs. Capcom. It was like you you would do the ultimate, and it would come down and be like. <laughs> so whatever that is, I'm taking that with me. Nice. nice. Ed? There was a gun in Wolfenstein 2. I don't remember the name. They all had such weird, long, German-sounding names that was gasoline-powered, and it would it was basically kind of like a like a grenade launcher of sorts. Mm. Uh, mm. I'll take that mm. gun and I'll take, uh, I'll take Batman with me. Ooh. Hey, can't go wrong there. Yeah. Another human. Ooh. Mm. Another human. Ooh. Yeah. Another human. Yeah. Yeah. Timmy. Uh, I, my weapon of choice will be my good old, uh, little rocket grenade launcher from far cry. <laughs> thunk. Mm -hmm. just, just so thunk, I can thunk. hear thunk. That's not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. It go bounce it's off. Like of It'll probably, yeah. yeah, it probably will. Yeah, toss it back to duds. You. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I mean, to counter, it could be that I take Talion with me because he's both spirit and human, so he could do a multitude of things. There you go. He's so, tough to kill. But he'll be doing all the sword action. I'll be doing all the grenade action. Yeah, so you exactly. get like the nice. you get modern versus old school and, and see what happens. I like that. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like it. Good question. Yeah, that's a great question. Good Bad question. Gamer Elite, hashtag MTTG historian. Merry Christmas to you, my brothers in gaming. Thank you for gifts all year long with new shows and the old ones. I'm finally to the point in history where I was popping in and out to listen to an episode here and there. Mm. My question is, if you could pop into a past episode and interject a statement to your past self, what episode would it be and what would you say? Ooh. Wow. Oh, I know what I would do. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't know which episode know. it was, but I would jump back to before. Oh, man. Hold on. Shoot. Don't think too hard. Oh, I know. Man. I would jump back to whatever episode was before the E3 that they named Shinmu and Final Fantasy VII. And mm -hmm. I would say to myself, just record yourself for this one. Yeah. Oh, just take one. your phone out and just record yourself. Nice. Because. Mm. I know that I love watching the reactions of other people. And it, I, I went on, I, I told you guys a couple weeks ago, I went on a, like a binge the other night and just watched them again till like four in the morning. 
Oh, that's Because it awesome. brings me so much joy seeing people <laughs> so amazing. happy. And yeah, I feel I like that every now and again, too. And I'm not even like a huge fan of those games, but yeah, I like yeah. watch But it. like, I don't know if we've seen that kind of joy come out of an E3 in years. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where that, where people, like, people are crying in some of them, right? Chris? That could have been the most hype, like, ever. At any wow. E3. I don't think any, I don't think there's been a hyper one than that. I just didn't want to say that. Because I know for me, I, I'll say it. I'm. I think and it is. I wish I would have went up there and gave him a five, because there's not security there, and I was close. I was only like seven uh, rows back, going oh, through like, that's, awesome. that's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That's Shoot, awesome. and they walk back to my chair, <laughs> and then get arrested. I would have told myself like, man, don't try to play it cool in front of Brandon Scott. You go do you and be excited, right. man. Because exactly. I downplayed it. I really downplayed it because I was sitting next uh-huh. to Brandon Scott, but. I've been like, man, you go let loose, man, be and be happy. Mm, Ed, awesome. what do you think? I think there was an episode just just somewhat recently where uh, my audio feed had the wrong mic input. I would just be like, hey, check that uh, knob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're good to go. <laughs> yep, I love that. I love that. That's funny. Nice one, brother. Nice one. Tim, Thank what about you? you? Uh, back to when I remembered to say that Mario Odyssey was coming out. <laughs> Because <laughs> for fear of being crucified, be like Tim. Don't, for, don't forget to scroll all the way down to Fridays when <laughs> Nintendo releases most of their games. You wouldn't want to go and rock yourself awake before the narcoleptic tiger. Dude, claw. no, no. You know what? I uh, I own that one. That I was love too good. That, that was, that too, was good. too good. I would never trade that yeah, for. You anything. You wouldn't want to take that, that one good. away. You I know was... what? I kind of wish I snored. I wish I was louder <laughs> in that. Now that I think about it, because that would have been e- that would have been even. I wish that was, was a video. Snoring. I wish that was a video one. Yeah. I, well, I know, it would have really. been me doing this because I was probably leaning back. <laughs> so I was probably like this. Oh, what? No, I'm good. Yep, I'm good. Oh, that was such a great episode. No, I would not take that back for the world. There you go. Mm. Chris? That was incredible. So the only thing that I can think of, this is a, a bit of a cheat on the question, but back at episode 100, I wasn't on the show. That's right. But I was at the live recording. Yes, you were. Mm-hmm. And we were, y'all were live streaming the show and you're talking about like, hey, yeah, we're trying to live stream and we don't know if it, like videos like being put together with tape and sounds kind of familiar, right? Yeah. So yeah. basically it was just going like that. And you're like, so I don't know if this can work. We don't really know anything about video. We wish, we wish we had some video help here. And I'm in the audience. And I just go like, I'm a video and I'm like, guy. And then Gay goes, um, you're in Texas. <laughs> I would have just morphed and put myself behind myself and I would just lean in and be like, just hang on. It's going to work out. Yeah. Nice. That's what I, I would have said it. to myself. Yeah. <laughs> you going to be able to hook them up soon enough. You don't worry about that. Yeah. So it'll, be, it'll be good. It'll be good. Don't I worry. love that. That's, awesome. that's, that's, that's great, Chris. That's a good one. Yeah, that was really good. Great question. Thanks for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Putty, can you think of a gift you received that meant you weren't receiving something else you really wanted? My example, the first Christmas was... Uh, was that the PS2 was out. I really wanted one, but one of the first gifts I opened was the PS1 version of a game, which clearly meant there was no PS2 under the tree. Uh, womp, dog womp. got it. Dog got yeah. it. That's wow. awesome. Oh, that's a hard Man, that's one. A, yeah. I'm not, I, and even as a kid, I'm not an expectant gift receiver. Yeah. So I don't yeah. usually, I don't usually uh, project onto my gifts what I think they're going to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I have gotten like a check come that I was hoping was going to be bigger. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and then right. wasn't that count? That yeah, counts. exactly. And I'm not talking about from mm-hmm. Toby. Toby always takes care of Je- the, Jelly of the Month care Club. Of your boy. But you know, every now and then you'll like receive like a you know where you've written a song or you know it's got played on the radio and stuff like that, and then you get you know residuals from that, and then the check yeah. shows up and you're like, oh snap, <laughs> we like about to, we about to do this thing. You like, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. That okay, that's where the period is. Okay. <laughs> I thought the decimal would be over one. Yeah. Uh-huh. But that's I all right. There would be a number on the other side <laughs> yeah. of that period. Be like, man, I ain't getting out one comma. I thought I'd get a comma at least. <laughs> <laughs> I thought brother. Honey, get we're a not comma. going to Disney now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shoot, uh, they're saying I owe them money. Oh, right, right. Exactly. What's this negative? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you got anything? Um, you know, I'm kind of the same way. I don't really, I, I'm not big on receiving gifts. I mean, I, I will do it, but I'm ne- whenever people are like, even when I was younger, it was the same way. I mean, I would ask for gifts like when I was a child, oh, of course, I can remember from middle school on just kind of being like, 
ah, you know what? I'm, I mean, I'm kind of good, you know, just yep. whatever. I mean, you know, the things I'm into, just what I wasn't real expectant. Yeah. So yeah, I never mm-hmm. really got anything where I was expecting one thing and then got like the other version of it or the right. older version of it, if you will. I can't think of anything like that. There was definitely times where like your grandmother, God bless her. She got a lot of grandkids and she kind of forgets, you know, like how old are you? And you might get something that's clearly yeah. not age appropriate mm-hmm. for you. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, uh, uh, a Power Rangers dress up outfit, and you're like, I'm 16. But okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll wear it when you're around. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But only stuff like that. I, I never got anything where I, in a situation kind of like Putty had. That's what I was mm-hmm. going to say. Like, anytime I opened up clothes, I was disappointed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, I was like, yeah. a sweater. I actually really for like Christmas. It yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Eduardo? Yeah. I was going to say the same thing. Like, I never really expected anything and so just to get anything was always nice but when you just said clothes as a kid yeah i was i was very much like that was the worst like you pick it up and it's soft you're like doggone it (laughs) Yep. Yeah, you hear the paper, yeah. that tissue paper rattling around in there. Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, you're like ah, shoot like, another sweater for real, a sweater. I guess this isn't a Millennium Falcon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's that's my answer too. It's like anytime there were clothes, I'd just look at my <laughs> me and my brother are like next. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Yeah. For, like, what do you want from a kid? Like, really, you want us to be excited about a button about, up? About socks and yeah. a button up? Yeah, exactly. I don't know, crazy. Like that, you you buy me clothes all year long. I rarely yeah, I get toys all year long. Let's not use <laughs> Christmas as a time exactly. to get clothes. Exactly. I got this a couple months ago at the back to school sale. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> That's when you should have been doing this stuff, right? You're like, oh, trapper, I see when you bought this. Yeah. Trapper ke- keeper included. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ah, right. oh, trapper keeper. I love my trapper. Oh right. man, those oh. are the best. Mm. Ah, uh, good question. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, Appreciate that. Uh, Hale, our girl Haley Zarel. When Tim was in school, the trapper keeper was like a, a bear trap for when he could, so he could feed his family because they were back in the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, okay. All <laughs> right. like, I got you a trapper keeper. Uh-huh. I see you, you young can, buck. I see you. <laughs> if you put it out in the woods, you might be able to trap oh, and keep some. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> there he comes. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, that was a terrible uh, joke. Our, our girl Haley Zarel. So, um, I really got to know. What's your personal game of the year? Oh. Is that a TBD? Are we going to go mm. over that next week? Yeah, let's do that next know. week. Game of the year right, next we'll, week. We'll put a pause right. in that. We'll do that next yeah. next week. So, sounds good. Coming right, soon. Determined. Yes. You'll, yes, you'll have, mm. to, you'll have to listen next mm. week. Mm. Exactly. All right. Moving on to Facebook. Daniel, hi. First off, Merry Christmas, fellas. It's been a great year. What is the one gift that you always... Oh, we just got this. The one gift that you always wanted and never received. For me, it was a talk boy, like the one Kevin had in Home Alone yes. 2. Oh. Mm. That Those thing was hard cool. to get a hold of. Um, I think funny. Chalfie has that as his Twitter picture. Yeah, he does. That's right. Oh, really? Yeah. Chalfie yeah. got me this shirt I'm wearing. Speaking of gifts. Oh, cool. When I was nice. looking, Look at them. on the Fresh Coast. Um, That's cool. There's got to be a gift I wanted and didn't get. Um, I always, like I was telling you guys before, we always skip generations when it came to gaming. And so if I had the Genesis, like I didn't get like the Sega CD, you know what I'm saying? Or Mm -hmm. I had the, and then I didn't get the Saturn, but I got the Dreamcast, you know? Um, So I think I always wanted the next console, but just never got it. So I, I always wanted to have all of them, but I usually, I think the only time I didn't skip, like I didn't have the Sega Master System, but got the Genesis. Um, but I did have the NES and the SNES. So those mm. were next to each other. And then once I got older, obviously, the PS1 and the PS2 uh, I got as well. But when I was a kid, I was like, didn't get the N64, didn't get like any of the Game Boy Colors or anything like that. And I always mm. wanted to be up on the thang thang with that. Chris, you have something that you, you wanted but didn't get? I, I can't I can't really think of anything. when it, On the gaming side, like – because my parents divorced and so I had two households, I just made sure that, okay, at this house I asked for Nintendo, whatever, and at this house I asked for Sega, whatever, and then nice. if I'm going to get one, I'm going to have both my bases covered, you yeah. know? Yeah. So mm-hmm. there was, I, I kind of gamed the system, <laughs> if you will. It's yeah. like, well, yeah, y'all going to split Smart. up. I'm going to make this work for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Um, so y'all couldn't make I, it work for y'all, but I'm going to make it work for me. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. yeah. <laughs> one way or another, this is working. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I don't, I don't, because really I'm traumatized, know. right? 
Y'all didn't know I'm traumatized by this. So right, right, right. you got to get it right. I'm crying. <laughs> so, Dad, oh, you, get, you get me all PlayStation. Mom, you get me all Xbox. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I need Christmas to be but back. But no, I, I can't think of anything that I really wanted and didn't get. Yeah. 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 Ed? Not really. No. I, I mean, I was, I was just always happy to get anything. There you go. It was nice. Timmy? Back so I'm the, the only day. one? No, no. Mm-hmm. Back in the day when I was younger, I always wanted, after Empire Strikes came back, I always wanted that big uh, ad ad. Oh the, yeah, the, the big toy. I gave him one of those. Too. You don't. Yeah. You wouldn't remember this. This is back in the Stone Ages. But man, those <laughs> things were massive. They were. They, they held like all those different action figures mm-hmm. in the in the body, and then the the guns like would light up. And I always wanted it, and that I never got cool. it. Yeah, that was, it was cool. It was pretty awesome. You wanted that, Ed? I did want that, but our neighbor kid had it, yeah. and we always played Star Wars together. Exactly. Exactly. It was like we had one. Yeah, so, yep. Yeah, I'm right there with that you. That was there me was with so the many. Sega CD. Um, I would go down to my friend's house and play it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Good question. Mm -hmm. Great question. Dak Huntley, besides gaming, besides gaming, what do you guys do if you get a solo day off? No wife or kids. I normally call those treat yourself days and either go out to breakfast or check out a movie. Hmm. What does that feel like? I don't know if I've had that. Um, (laughs) I usually, what I did, and this was still kind of treat yourself because uh, whenever the babies were real, real small and couldn't do anything, you just have them in like a bassinet and they're just chilling and Jitty would run errands. Um, mm. That was my day. That was my time to like catch up on TV. So I would like yep. watch like right. three Walking Walking Dead's back to back. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, besides gaming, I mean, it's still entertainment, but I, I want to take in the stuff I'm missing out on. Exactly. Ed, Dang it, you stole my answer. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Eduardo? Yeah, kind of the same thing. I'll catch up on... TV or movies or entertainment weeklies and uh, entertainment really is catch up on entertainment. There you go. Chris. Um, so I actually haven't done this in a pretty good while, um, but for some time, whenever I had free time, if it wasn't going to be doing gaming related stuff, um, I would go out and do look for some stuff. I, I would do photography. Like I would go out to a new spot mm. that I hadn't been mm, just do go. like some street photography, walk the streets of like nice. downtown or something and just take some shots. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I actually haven't done it in a really long time and I need to get, I want to get back out there and, and do yeah, it again. It um, and then also I, I've always thinking about different video projects. That one's mm. a little bit harder because I don't actually have as much access to the equipment like that I use at work. And right. it's like, when you use all that, you're constantly thinking up these ideas like, okay, well, shoot, like, oh, wait, yeah, I don't own that. I can't, I can't yeah, use that right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it, between those two things, it, it's usually photo or video related somewhere. That's cool. Mm. I like nice. that. Nice. Great question. All right. Nathan David Dugas. If there is one food or brev- beverage you could get a lifetime supply of, i.e. as you want it, what would it be? Ooh. Oh, man. Mm. I really like a good Jack and Coke. Oh, To tell you the Dave. honest truth. Mm. Uh, man, it, like just had it on the spigot on the wall and could just. Look, you're right. Lifetime supply. Probably. Man. Probably mm. Irish coffee. Mm. Oh, there you go. I love coffee and Bailey's. Gosh, that is mm-hmm. delicious. Yeah, that is delicious. Woo. That's why I get on you my are- Southwest flights. They're like, no, sir, yeah. it's seven thirty in the morning. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm like, it we in an airplane, baby. In the name, right? <laughs> I'm like, we in the air, baby. Ain't no time up here. That's I right. didn't ask you for the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take my coupon. Coupon. <laughs> coupon. Cash only now. <laughs> Ed. Square one coffee. Of there course. Mm-hmm. Sounds about I'll right to it. me. Right. Christopher. It, it would be some kind of beer. Which yeah. one though? I, I what's, would, your, what's your favorite? I mean, hard to say. I don't really have a favorite. Yeah, I have ones that are kind of like old faithfuls. That it might be one of those. I really like. I've thought about uh, just when if well, I had a lot of money. Let's say and I got everything's paid off. And say I you were a router. It. Yeah, yeah. Let's say I'm a router. <laughs> and that's funny because I've wanted to have like I wanted to have a bar like with an actual tap. I wanted to have a, uh, or, yeah. like a kegerator or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And I'd really like one that serves Guinness, but you have the nitrogen and then you have, it's all these other pieces that are way more right. maintenance involved. It's just like, I just don't really know if I want to. Yeah. Okay. You don't got to rub it in our face. Yeah, router, I like it. It's all singles. Place. That's all <laughs> yeah. it is. It's just singles. Oh, I hope you, I hope you guys are watching <laughs> um, this podcast. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I would love to have 
that. I mean, if it, if I could just go downstairs and be like, oh, yeah, pour me another, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd and be awesome. Guinness, yeah. Guinness, like Guinness draft is actually, everybody thinks, oh, that's really thick. Shall be like, it's actually pretty light on the yeah. from a, like a stout side. It's really light. Beer. Yeah. I it's just it. nice yeah. and smooth. It's something you can just have casually and it's, it's not like in a like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> hey. It's hard to say too because beer is so seasonal, right? Like different yeah. seasons. Yeah. You yeah like, it can, and, can yeah. It, like to enjoy different beers. Yeah. Uh, what mm-hmm. about you? That's what I understand. I can't stand beer, but that's to my understanding. Oh, oh man, I, wish, I would love shame. to just go to a bunch of breweries with you. I, you would, just, love, I, gotta get to I would love to. Man. I would love yeah, to man. try it. I just, bleh. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. Router. That's so good. Mm. Um, yeah, shoot. I don't know, man. I, I think on the beverage side, I, I'd probably just want to, to keep a coffee aflowing. It doesn't matter. I, nice. I'm not picky. I just, I do like my morning coffee. Yeah. Uh, and on the food side, I'm kind of torn because I, man, when lunchtime comes around, I just love me a good turkey sandwich. Doesn't matter what kind of hmm, sandwich. Yep. Lifetime supply, like sandwich. good, good old turkey sandwich, like the deli kind. Like yeah, I do a Subway or a Jersey Mike's makes a good one. Man, they really so I, do for a chain. Yeah, I, I do like, I do like them. I've so. had some people put their foot up in a sandwich up in that place. I'm like, oh yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I mean, looking at me, I'm not, uh, I'm not that picky. Obviously, no. yeah. But you know, that's all good. Still can appreciate the goodness. That's right. right. That's right. All right. Final question on Twitter: Spencer mm. Stapleton, Street Day It is Christmas Eve, and you mm-hmm. have been arrested for a Christmas-related crime. Oh snap! Dum mm. dum dum. Which crime did you commit, and who bails you out? That's a good question. I mean, let's say somebody other than our wives, because that's obviously the easy thing yeah, yeah, to yeah. say. Nope. Yeah. Um, I would say I committed uh, street racing. Ah, that's a good answer. And That's a Christmas crime? That's a Christmas-related not- crime? No, I'm just thinking like Christmas Eve, nobody's on the streets. Everybody's gone yeah. home. That's the time to race somebody out there. It's still hmm. not a Christmas related crime. Oh, we'll let it oh is it Christmas related or it's, I thought it was just Christmas yeah. Eve. It's it is on Christmas, Christmas Eve, Eve and you have been arrested for a Christmas related uh, crime. Oh, shoot. Maybe uh, he's racing okay, Santa. Yeah, no, Street answer. racing with Donner and Blitzen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, shoot. Christmas related. I know that. It's so weird. Okay. I have. Um, I've wrapped somebody's house. Oh, like, you know how you would one. TP Christmas somebody's wrap. house? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas yeah. wrapped the police chief's house, mm. and uh, my mom, she's ride mm. or die. Nice. She come get your mm-hmm. boy out of jail. I love it for sure. One call. That's all it takes. Yep. I gotta go get my baby. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Ed. Oh man. Um. Um. I've accidentally slaughtered an elf. Oh, like no, brutal! I don't think and you accidentally slaughter anything. There's no accident. No, it just it, it, it just happened. Yeah, it's Something just clicked. Like, it, it's it's a blur. I don't remember what happened. He called Ooh. you a slur. I, yep. Yeah, and Jeez. I just woke up and it was just covered in elf parts, and <laughs> I, I I can't quite explain what happened. That's beautiful. Mm. All right, who's bailing you out? That sounds Dad. like one of the Christmas movies. Dad's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Satan. Yeah. Satan. Satan and Merlin. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, Dad's bailing you out? Yeah, Dad'll do it. Dad'll bail you out. No questions asked. Nah. I like it. Tim? Uh, punching Rudolph in the face. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> and Sam Whipple will bail me out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I like uh, it. That's funny. Yep, there it is. Christopher? It's been a really tough hunting season so i took oh. a trip up to north pole yes got me a bunch of reindeer meat in the freezer now yes, give me that reindeer jerky <laughs> yeah, that reindeer in jail jerky. for it yeah uh, so, unfortunately yeah, it's that, duck that reindeer jerky Woo-wee, it's mm-hmm. worth it mm-hmm. worth it yum uh right. and who's gonna bail me out i'd say stacy she'll she's right or die besides with our wives besides wives oh besides wives oh my brother my brother okay, Dusty would bail me out. <laughs> yeah. He would totally bail me You out. had a quick he one would, on that with oh Dusty. Yeah, he was yeah. like, oh, I got yeah, it. He's, he's like, go to. He owes me. Yeah. <laughs> Several <laughs> times. Bailing him out. Right. <laughs> uh, nice. I like that it. That is it for all the questions. Thank you, everybody. Like Thank you. It. Yeah, love man. It, 275, the Christmas episode. We did it. 
Yeah, in man. the books. We don't really know until I hit stop recording if yeah, we did it. Well, we think we did it. There may be no evidence we did it. I did it, at least. I, yeah. I we so have to our pull. question of the week is, <laughs> does it look okay? <laughs> Maybe? How do we do? The question of the week this week is flipping it. What did you get for Christmas? Oh, yes. Mm. This is what Love. you wanted mm. this week. Next week's episode will be post- Christmas time. Mm. Oh, well. What did you get for Christmas? And then the week after that, y'all, is 2018. Yep. Yeesh. Mm. Yeah, That's it is. crazy. Mm. There is. That's crazy town USA is what that right. is. I love it. Um, so yeah, let us know what you got for mm. Christmas. That would be awesome. We want to hear mm. about all the gifting that everybody uh did. We love we love doing this for you guys. I'm glad we got yeah. to record another Christmas episode. I can't believe love it. Yep. This is our mm-hmm. fifth one. Yeah, man. Wow. That's nuts. It feels wow. weird not being in that studio, though. I know. Sitting on that couch. Mm. Sitting on that couch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good so times, funny. man. Interesting story about... Um, it might not be interesting, but my brother actually shot two years ago. He shot mm-hmm. me and the two Tims. But at the time, he was he had just got his camera, and he was like, Dude, I got a 4K camera. And I was like, hey, just so you know, uh, yeah. I don't need you to shoot it in 4K because I won't be right. editing it in 4K. He was like, I'm going to shoot it in 4K. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. oh. And so he shot it in 4K. And that thing took like three days to render. It was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Working with that big freaking file, man. Golly. That's amazing. <laughs> it was a mess. I love it. Mm. 275 in the books. Oh, yes. Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry I hope Christmas. you guys have a, Christmas. have a safe one out there. I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is Chris McCracken. And we are married to the games and we are out this thing. I love how Ed yeah. winces. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> oh. We did it. We did it. It's done. I think we did it. We'll see you guys tomorrow night for the reshoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You won't be seeing me. <laughs> I'm just going to use a sock puppet for Chris. I know. That's- yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Get Jeff Dunham. <laughs> yeah, get Jeff Dunham. <laughs>